Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of requests on how to create this type of style in Adobe Illustrator. I have about four or five different designs that look similar to this. You can check out my videos on my TikTok account, which I will link down below. But before I get started, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into it. So I'm going to make a heart using the rectangle tool. So I'm just going to create that and I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and then I'm going to duplicate it by hitting command C and command B that will paste the shape behind it and then I'm going to rotate that shape as well then select the two shapes select the shape builder tool and select the parts I want and then use this direct select tool and delete the parts I don't want and then center it and make it a little bit bigger I'm then going to use the direct select tool again, which is A on your keyboard. I'm going to select each corner and round it off by pulling down. I'm now going to click T on my keyboard to select the text tool and I'm going to write my text. The font I'm using I got off defont.com. I will link that down below. I'm separating my text because of how I want the layout to be and then I'm going to Create a line within the heart using my pen tool, which is P on the keyboard. And I'm making it a bit of a wavy line because I want a kind of a cool effect. Once I'm done creating the line, I'm going to select the line and the heart. I'm then going to open my Pathfinder tool and hit divide. And then I'm going to right click and hit ungroup. So in the layers panel, you should see two separate paths, and then you should see the text path below those two paths. I'm going to select the first part of the heart and the love and go up to object, envelope distort, and then make with top object. And it should look something like this. I'm going to do the same steps with the LY and the bottom of the heart, just like this. And you should get something that looks like this. I'm just going to reduce each piece using the shift key on my keyboard and dragging down just so there's a little bit of a gap between the words. I'm then going to select the shapes and then go up to object, expand, and hit OK. And then I'm going to zoom in and just fix a few of the nodes as I don't like how they look. So you can do whatever you want with yours. This is what I have chosen to do with mine. Once I am all done, I'm going to select everything and go up to Object, Compound Path, and Make. Using my rectangle tool, I'm going to create my background. And then I'm going to use my eyedropper tool to create the color I would like. I'm going to duplicate my file by hitting Command C and Command B. That duplicates it right behind it. I'm going to hit Shift and drag down using my mouse to create a smaller shape. I'm then going to make my smaller shape the same color as my background and then open up my color panel and make a darker sh shade of my background. And then I'm going to click OK once I've picked my color. And then the top shape, I'm going to select the same color as my background. I'm going to select both the shapes, go up to Object, Blend, and then Make. And then I'm going to go back to Object, Blend, Blend Options and click spe specified shape and I'm going to click 100 and hit OK. In the layers panel, I'm going to select the top object and hit Command C, Command F to duplicate right in front and then going to move it up above the blend group. I'm then going to select the color white for the top shape. In the blend group, I'm going to select the bottom shape, which is the smallest shape and then I'm going to resize it and move it around to make it how I want it to look. You can also recolor these individual shapes as well if needed. And then you should have something that looks like this. And that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, make sure you follow me on all my socials, and I will see you in the next one.